Oh, it's really special. Um, you know, we won't host for a while, so to be able to to win a couple championships, you know, on our home track uh, when we know we're not going to have it for a while, uh, a lot of these kids will be gone uh, before we host again. So it's special. You just never know. You come into a meet like this, so many things happen. Uh, you can't take anything for granted. Uh, I'm really proud of how the, how the kids competed. Champions times two. Virginia Tech track and field sweeping both men's and women's team titles at the ACC Indoor Championships this weekend. The victories mark the first time ever that a school has hosted and won both men's and women's ACC track championships. And the feat is not only a mark of resilience, but also a sign of bigger things to come for Virginia Tech's track and field program. You know, it took a lot of teamwork and uh, all these guys over here did their part and, uh, you know, we couldn't do it without everybody's effort. For a sport that has a greater emphasis on individual achievement, the Virginia Tech track and field team earned a rare men's and women's sweep of the ACC Indoor Team Championships. What it means most is uh, the teammates, man. All through women, uh, men and women, they put in time, a lot of time and effort to get here. And so it means the most for me for their success. So. For the men, the league title is becoming a regular occurrence, but this one stands out as a sign of resilience for a team that underwent big changes in the past year. You know, it's pretty cool because a lot of people had to step up this year because, you know, we had some transfers and injuries and stuff like that. So it's pretty cool to see new faces step up and really make a name for themselves in the ACC. One of those new faces is Jake Spotswood, a graduate transfer from Alabama, who took home silver in the men's heptathlon, setting a new school record. It was a tough road at Alabama. There were just some, some coaching changes, some bad situations I was in, a little bit of injury dealing with that. So to be able to get to a program that is best fit for me, it's just been perfect. The facilities are amazing. My teammates are phenomenal. And just to be able, be able to come out here, be fifth in the country, get a silver, be able to win with the team, it's I can't ask for anything better. The women held on to their team title despite a late surge from Duke, tying the team standings in the final event, resulting in co-championships between the Hokies and Blue Devils. It's the women's second league title in three years. Um, I'm just going to have fun with that. I think uh, I'm setting new and bigger goals, um, and I'm, I'm just excited. I'm excited for me. I'm excited for the team. There's, it's only up from here, and it's just the beginning. Well, congrats to Virginia Tech on a memorable weekend at Rector Fieldhouse. That's it for sports. The news continues after the break.